everybody, it's Trish. I'm out here once again on this beautiful sunny day, but it's a little chilly for me. So bear with my look, because you know, I don't look much like a golfer today. Ah. Um, I wanna talk to you today about something that I have come to understand the longer I teach golf and the more I play golf. And I know I'm in a rowboat right now, but I want to talk to you about how many times have we been taught or do we teach or have we heard things like if you're a right-handed golfer, really get your left arm into the shot because your left arm is your leading arm and your left arm is where you have the power. Well, I'm gonna do a little experiment here in the rowboat, and I'm gonna use nothing but my left arm. Guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna turn myself in circles. If I go the other way, I'm gonna turn the opposite way, okay? But if I allow myself to use both arms equally, I will go in a straight line. Okay, I will go in a straight line because I'm using both arms together. I'm not using my right arm or my left arm or one at a time. It's not, you know, an out of sync motion. Both arms swing the club in one uninterrupted motion from the top to the finish. Does that kind of sort of make sense? So I thought I would bring this to you today not so much because I'm out here in the lake swimming or because it's too cold, but I'm not even playing golf. I haven't played in like three weeks, but I'm out here today and I thought about this and thought that was a great idea. We must use both arms and hands equally. We swing the golf club back with both hands and we swing the golf club forward in the direction of the target with both arms. Just like if I'm rowing this boat and I use one arm versus the other arm, or I use both arms together to row the boat. Does that kind of sort of make sense? So anyway, I hope this helps. I hope you can hear it because I don't have my microphone or anything with me today because I really did not anticipate coming up with this idea. I'm gonna turn so you can see the beautiful sky, but uh, I thought that would, might give you an idea of what we're looking at. And here, I'll give you an idea of what the lake looks like. So this is my happy place, everybody. So anyway, until next time, I hope this helps. And don't forget, keep it in the short grass. Bye.